Welcome back to the channel. My name's Tom and today I'm back at the Newington Kiwanis Flea Market in Newington, Connecticut. I've only been here once before, but I did pretty well, so I figured I'd come back and take another look. Hi. How Good are you? morning. Good morning. Thank you. Condensation. <laughs> Apparently, some of these are worth quite a bit. What's that? The Thomas? Uh, yeah, the some of the older ones. I don't know if this is oh, one yeah. of them or not. 1998. It's not that old. Metal? Yeah. Oh, it's a. No, maybe it's. A, oh, that's plastic. It's a piggy bank, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, I don't know. But how do you get your money back out? I don't know. 1974. You don't get your money back out. Guess not. 1974 seems to have been a big year for those banks because I remember when I went to the Woodbury flea market earlier this year, there was one guy that had a bunch of banks like that. And most of them were from 1974. Not for food use. Oh, yeah. oh, Good morning. Hi, how are you? And don't forget, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and hit that notification bell. Thanks. Here's a whole bunch of music CDs, and these are priced really well at a dollar, which is pretty much what they should be selling them for because when you go to Goodwill, most Goodwills, the CDs are all a dollar. So whenever I see CDs going for like two, three dollars, even if they're worth it, they feel overpriced just because I'm so used to the prices at Goodwill. It's also got a bunch of cassettes at a dollar each, which again is a good price. The only cassettes I would be interested in though would probably be mostly from the 70s or 80s and it would be rock or pop from that era. But a lot of the cassettes I see for sale tend to be country music and like gospel, which I'm just not interested in. I have that. I got that as like a mail-in. Oh, really? With a cereal. Oh, okay. Back in the 90s. Yeah, this is 93. Did you have to mail box tops or something? Something like that. Yeah, or UPC codes or something. Yeah. I have it somewhere in a box in storage. Mm -hmm. I wasn't able to find any sold examples on eBay, but I would guess it probably goes for maybe five, ten, fifteen bucks at the most. <laughs> this is Ronald McDonald, but it kind of looks like it from the Stephen King horror movies. Yeah, it does. Very similar. Yeah, it's like a baby Ronald McDonald. Oh yeah, it's weird. Oh, yeah, there's a little, real baby one here, too. Yep. Yeah. You know they don't use Ronald McDonald in their advertising anymore? Oh, no, what happened? He's just not cool anymore, I guess. Fell out of favor. Yeah, they might bring him back, but... God's sake, let me know if you're interested in anything. Yep, thanks. Mm -hmm. Fig syrup. Fig syrup. Oh. Sounds appetizing. Hmm. You don't see that one very often. 
Yeah. No. Never seen it before ever. I asked him $20 for it. Okay. Oh, I see. You can... Oh, and then you slide them over. I see. Yeah. I was wondering how it worked. <laughs> Come on. Oh, you have to go up. Yeah, I'm going up. It's too complicated for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, what's it got in it? It's cologne. Oh, cologne. Oh, okay. Yeah. is um, underwater and the other one I believe is pan um, pan panoramic. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. Huh. People heard they were coming down King style. So. Oh yeah with the the younger kids are into that. Hi, hey, how are you? This? Yeah, 20. I've always wanted to get a microscope like that, but I just don't know enough about them to know if what I'm getting is actually good or not. That sounds like a good price to me, 20 bucks, but I honestly don't know. I have to do some research into that uh, before I consider buying one. Huh. Alright, well yeah, no, I'll keep it in mind before I leave. Okay. Thanks. What do you got there hooked on your camera? Is that a go cam like yeah. A go yeah, camera? Yeah, GoPro. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here's the Star Wars THX VHS re-release from 1995. I actually have this. I got it when it came out new. And they're actually worth a little bit of money nowadays. If you get them sealed, they'll go for about maybe $30, $35. <clears throat> Loose like that, probably 15 to 20. If you don't already have it, though, it's definitely worth picking up. It's it's always fun to watch VHS tapes, I think. Even though, of course, they don't look anywhere near as good as the Blu-rays and 4K we have nowadays. I am a collector of old computer hardware, so I was interested in this box here, and I just oh, had okay. to take a look through it. The problem is, the stuff in here is a little bit too new to be considered vintage or retro, and it's a little bit too old to be useful in most modern computers. I would guess most of this is probably from the early to mid-2000s, so maybe like 2000 to 2005, 2006, something like that. These hard drives are kind of interesting. The problem is, though, they probably don't work. Um, hard drives are very delicate, so oh, okay. if you leave them in a box for 20 years and lug it around to flea markets, odds are there's something wrong with it. So I generally would not recommend ever buying a used hard drive at all, especially from a flea market. And that's a floppy drive. That probably works. Those are hard to kill. And he's got some RAM in there. That probably works as well, but it's very old. It's PC100 SD RAM, which is not going to work in any modern computers. He had a good price on it, though. I think it was 10 bucks for the whole box. So, again, not a bad price, but I literally have boxes and boxes of stuff from this era at home. Yeah. And there wasn't really anything in here that really caught my eye. I believe this is an Xbox 360 Afterglow clear controller, probably from about 2006 or so, give or take. 
I kind of wish I had asked how much it was because they seem to go for about ten to twenty dollars online, and I could actually use it nowadays. Make me an offer. If you're interested. All right. We're easy here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what kind of headphones are these? I'm sorry. What kind of headphones are these? Justin. Yo. We got so many interested headphones. I don't know nothing about. Them. <laughs> I was taking a nap. Oops. What's up? <laughs> What, what kind of are these? These are HyperX's. Uh, video game. Yep, video game. They're full. Yep, they're full seal, so they're sound canceling and they won't like leak. So you can. If you're into collecting M and M's, this is definitely the, the table to come to. Feature is these aluminum frames. I don't think I've seen that many M and M collectibles in one spot before, or at least not recently. Which is uh, the exact problem I suffered before I swapped to this brand. Do they work like with any fine ones? Uh, yeah. That one, I believe, it serves. I thought this was pretty cool. This is an old 1958 Chevy Impala model kit. And from what I can tell, it might be from the late 50s, early 60s. It definitely looks old. And I did see a few sell on eBay. The prices, again, range wildly from like $30 oh, up to almost $90. It, it looks old, is it? Old? Oh, okay. The only problem is it has been partially assembled, and I do believe that brings the value down a little bit. Pictures. No. Nope, some pictures there. <laughs> Modern pictures. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Dollar each out front there. <laughs> Yeah, the reflection from the sun is brutal. Yeah. No, it's only well, supposed to get to be like 69. Really? Yeah. I love tables like this when everything is just thrown everywhere. It's kind of like a treasure hunt trying to see what you can find buried in there. And I did find some buried treasure, so stay tuned. Fake mustaches. <laughs> That's funny. Jeff, you do Redwood anymore? I, do, I was doing it steady. <laughs> You know, I, I retired for nine months and then I went back. So this is my, my third year back. Like I yelled at yesterday, he just saved my spot and I wasn't there. I forgot to call him. Told him I wasn't coming. Yeah, it's pretty much, it's changed. There's no more, there's no more collectors anymore. They're all dealers. Everybody shops with their phone. So they look at something and go, well, I can get one for 10 bucks cheaper online. I says, yeah, but look at the shipping and handling. And you don't get to hold it in your hand to look at Here's it. something I've never seen before. Ahead, These are Rainforest Cafe plates from the restaurant, which is pretty cafe. much out of business, except for maybe a couple Pokemon locations. They're not in the Pokemon best condition, but again, because I've never seen them before, and I kind of like the Rainforest Cafe, I did decide to get them because they were really cheap. And you can walk to Dunkin' Donuts, and it's only 15 Yeah. 
We, I paid 20 because I picked three. Yeah, um, I used to, uh, there was a, a guy, an Indian guy, who was at Wyoming Plains, but he never, he was never from there. We used to split a spot, 10 each, and hmm. we took three. Is it a dollar each yeah. on these? All right, I'll, yeah, I'll take these three. Okay. Right. You go, making that sale. Mm -hmm. They seem to go for about 10 to 15 online, so a dollar each, even though they're not oh, in the best condition, is a very good deal. Thanks. Thank you. Which is probably why Disney bought them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was really interesting. It was a rocky bench. I guess. Everything's a dollar each. And it was like an hour and a half long. And I thought it would be cool. The other thing I have is, do you know that band Weezer? No. Well, one of the guys in the band yeah. moved to California to increase his musical career, but he was from Wellington, Connecticut, <coughs> originally, and they made a DVD, and it's full of their music. It's a music video, but then there was somebody named Something Jones who made music videos for MTV that did this song called Island in the Sun and he used wild animals with the band in the video like lion cubs and chimpanzees it's such a cool video but I'm not the same way I guess I'm the same and those CDs are like guys made Hmm. Everything other than Hess. Mm -hmm. Usually you see Hess no. trucks like this. Oh, yes. There's yeah. Wilco, Servco. Yeah. But I don't think Anything we had any on that table around us. Oh, okay. Or if you see three you like, I'll do three for 20. Okay. Thanks. I think there were more people here last time. Yeah. Si, si Never seen this board game before, Careers. Just based on the box, I would guess it's probably from the 50s or 60s. Name that tune. Definitely know the game. Never seen the uh, board game. Hi. How are you? Now, I'm not a G.I. Joe collector or like a large figure collector like this, but these look to be some pretty nice G.I. Joes. If there's any here that I should have bought just because they're worth a ton of money, let me know in the comments. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I had somebody looking at this one today, and actually, I hadn't seen it until today. No oh, FAO shorts. Have you seen this? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, never seen that one. Yeah. That is nice. Wow. That is nice. I looked inside and I was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> See, I wouldn't, wouldn't have any idea that was in there. I know. And then yeah, the other, Eisenhower there. The Eisenhower, yeah. yeah. You want to take a look at it? No. no. Oh, okay. Um, wow. Yeah, nice. 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 Yeah. Should have worn my sunglasses. I'm going to go blind <laughs> no, here. I just, <laughs> it's just changing. Yeah. <laughs> Here's something else that I rarely see. These are old vending machine cards, probably from the 40s or 50s, I think, at the latest. They're not in the best condition, but they're in pretty good condition, and I just never see them. So I decided to pick them up. Yeah, I'll take these for $10. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you.
There's really something for everybody at this flea market. It's it's great, I think, for a small local flea market. Uh, I'm mostly into toys and collectibles, as you can probably tell. But hey, if you're into wreaths and pretty much everything else, they've got that too. Mickey Mouse. What's this? Oh, Trump. <laughs> what were you saying, Mickey Mouse? Uh, in the back. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you got Minnie Mouse. Oh, yes, there she is. Did you get that bag at the factory? Yeah. It's a cool display, right? Isn't it great? Yeah. Do you use forever stamps at the post office? We have them like half the price. Oh. They're, right now they're 63 cents and they're going to 66 cents. Huh? Are they? But we have, what we have left are these flags and lighthouses, 100 stamps for $30. It's a pretty good deal on those stamps, and I would buy them except for I can't remember the last time I used the stamp. Gizmo from Gremlins. I wasn't gonna get her up early, you know what I mean? She she was home from school Friday. What, she feel good? I think it, she's like me with the heat. This is a pretty neat Mickey Mouse phone. This one, I believe, is from the 90s, and it's touch tone. But that price of 125 is is just way too high. I checked online; they sell for about 20 plus 20 dollars shipping on eBay. So maybe 40, 50 bucks is what that's worth. Oh, look at these. Like from a soda fountain? Yeah. Different syrups? Yeah, the syrups. Set of nine for three seventy five. dollars Yeah, they look old. Hmm. This is a Fantasia VHS box set from about 1991, I believe. And they actually don't go for that much. Even in really good condition, they only seem to go for maybe 10 or 20 bucks. I would have bought this one, though, if it were in a little bit better condition, but that box is pretty beat up. Especially when you can again find these in almost like new condition for very cheap. Could you hold this? Thank you. Oh, oh old VHS cassettes. Yes. And music CDs. That was still sealed. There's some old vending machine helmets, probably from the 80s or 90s. projectors yeah. in storage. Oh, do you? Yeah. Just got too many of them. Yeah. There's some old baseball helmet bowls from the 1980s, I believe, maybe 1990s. And they used to sell Sundays in these. They sold them at ballparks and also I think maybe Dairy Queen. Or some other restaurants had them as well. And yeah. I've got a whole stack that looks just like that at home. Used to get the Sundays in those. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah. 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 yeah I'm pretty sure I have a stack of those somewhere yeah. as well. Yeah. 
Maybe it's like the, the paint job. Yeah, you know how you treat them? The job is to spray, and then you just, when they come in, you just say, have a seat. Well, stay in the expensive than anybody I think I think it's only like for uh, elephants trunk in Manchester driving I, I don't think it's much more than this either oh. it's not really that expensive here's a Tony the Tiger plush toy from 1997 and this was a promo for uh, Kellogg's Frosted Flakes they seem to be fairly common from what I can tell, and they only go for maybe five or yeah. ten bucks at the most. Kind of cool though, especially if you collect, you know, Frosted Flakes or Kellogg's memorabilia. Flash bulb, I guess. <laughs> you bought those from the, the cereal box in the back. I think that's an old Brad Bradley's logo, maybe? Looks like maybe a B. It's hard to oh. tell, it's all faded. Yeah. Might be Bradley's. Camera works. Oh yeah. I had there was film in there. I took it out. I told oh. my mother. I says, probably you can't. You know, there's nothing that's gonna come out now. Probably, you know. Yeah, I don't know if you can even still buy the yeah, film I don't for know. it. So Maybe somebody likes to collect cameras. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, like, it's neat. My father, we had this when we were kids. He took movies of it. I think yeah. It's a regular eight millimeter. Yeah. Yeah. And there was film in that, but I said, yeah. it's, it's no good. I'm sure. Yeah, probably not at this but point. We have tons of that at home. Yeah. You know. But yeah, it's neat. And the lights I figured someone could use if they grow plants or something or Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, oh yeah. You know, they do work. I plugged them yeah. in at home. Yeah. They're cheap cheap enough. Yeah, nice. You know, but yeah, I like the flash cube. Yeah, I haven't <laughs> seen one of those in a long time. Yeah, it reminds you of the old days. Right. Know? Yeah. The garage light, that's like from the 1920s. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can tell by the, the cord. Yeah. yeah, I figured that'd be, you know, somebody wants to use it like in a display in a garage yeah. or yeah. in a case. It's just, you know, old, old tools yeah. and things. Right. Instead of throwing it out. Oh, yeah. Definitely don't throw it out. I had a ton of old car parts, like small yeah. stuff. And the guy bought all of it. He's, oh, he's good. a car, you know, enthusiast and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Neil Diamond program from 1982 in the Harvard oh. Civic Center. Oh wow. My wife went to it. Oh, really? And there's even the article yeah. from the newspaper <laughs> in there that, that he was there. Yeah. What's the McDonald's you got that's a full, is that what the, like a happy meal I ordered or something? those from oh, somewhere. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I, many years ago, I, you sent away for them. And I don't hmm. know. Yeah, 96. You know, but, you know I, cool. I would collect stuff and throw it in a box. So maybe, yeah, pretty much me but too. But now I'm like trying to purge. So at that point, the battery in my camera died. I replaced the battery, and for some reason, the auto stabilization on my GoPro shut off. 
So for the next little bit, the video is going to be a little bit shaky, but hopefully it's still watchable. No pun intended for that box of watches there for 25 bucks, which uh, is probably a good deal, actually. Oh, yeah. Eh, I wouldn't give him a saw. I've said it before, but I love these paperweights. Uh, they're five bucks a piece, which is a really good price. But also, like I've said before, I don't really know how to tell how old those are. They could be antiques or they might be brand new. I really would have no way of knowing. <laughs> so here's something I've never seen before, at least not for sale. These are old uh, like construction hazard lights that you'd see up at a construction site to warn you. And they do look fairly old. Here's some, <laughs> you don't see these? Too if I were to guess, I would probably say they're from the 70s or earlier. Probably never see it again. Yeah. No, probably not. So this is your opportunity to have it. Yes. <laughs> you know what? You're right. For both pieces, five bucks. And I did end up buying these for a great price. They do work. Uh, they run on lantern batteries. The only weird thing, though, is for the bigger one, the lantern battery I bought was just a little bit too tall, and it wouldn't yeah. latch close. So I don't know if lantern batteries used to be shorter or what. Five dollars for the pair? Yes. All right, yeah. What the heck? Yeah, I've never seen one before, so. <laughs> you know what the pickers say. If you don't, never saw it before, you better get it. Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> This is an old Nintendo NES controller from the mid to late 80s. I've got a few of those at home, so decided to pass on that one. And here's a Sega Genesis controller. Assuming it works, five bucks is a good price for that as well. But again, I've got a ton of those at home. Yeah. Yeah, no, I've never seen that before either. Over the years, I've collected a lot of things, and one of those was gas masks. Back when I was in high school, for whatever reason, I had a huge collection of gas masks, which I still have in a box somewhere in storage. Uh, but that one's kind of cool. That one looks a little bit newer to me. I have a few from World War II and Vietnam, and 
I don't know, there's just something about masks that I like. This booth is run by Aaron Elson, the gentleman sitting here to the right. He's got a bunch of great books and audio recordings related to World War II. But don't take my word for it. Let's hear directly from the author himself. These are oral histories of World War II veterans. Oh, okay. From interviews that well, I've I'll let you be. I'm okay. Be Thank you for well, the advice. Let me give you my card. Yeah, sure. And then I really if you have any it. questions, shoot me an email. I will. That was my father's tank battalion. Oh, wow. That's what got me started. Those are all accounts Thank that you they, so much. I really appreciate you know, it. stories they told to me. Thank, Thank you. you. Good luck. Yeah. Thank you. I started 35 years ago. I went to a reunion of his outfit and yeah. I went back with a tape recorder, you know, because they would oh, get yeah, together, yeah. tell stories that they don't tell to their families. And, you know, they come home, they raise their families, their son says, how did you get that silver star, Dad? I made coffee for the Colonel, you know? Yeah. And, and then, uh, yeah. but when in reality he got it for picking somebody up out of a tank and carrying him on his shoulder yeah. for half a mile. Wow. You know, things like that. Yeah, really interesting. But these are all just amazing to read. And these are the interviews I've done on audio ah. CD. Like that's a set of, I think it's 12 hours. It's eight interviews oh, with wow. D-Day veterans. This was one crew of yeah. five guys in my father's tank battalion. In 1994, I got four of them sitting around a table in yep. the hospitality room, reconstructing that day. Wow. That's and amazing. then I interviewed each of them individually. Yep. And I went and got the fifth one who was not there. And then I have some others, but I didn't put them all out. Wow. Wait a minute. Here we go. November, November 5th from the Jackal. We didn't do much November to be sure. And then yep. January, then we were about two weeks up to Boston for the invasion. Real character. Yeah. He was weeks. a machine gun. He was in England oh. in the morning and in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah, that's great. The stories, you know, they're, they're not all combat, they're not all blood and guts, you know, like he found a ham, and the ham had was yeah. moldy, <laughs> and he, he stay, starts to heat it up with a little Bunsen burner type yeah. thing, and his buddy said, what are you going to do? He said, I'm going to eat it, and he, I saw that. Yeah. And you're, you'll die, you know. And he said, I'm going to die anyway, you know. Just uh, salt to the earth. Yeah, yeah, that's no, great. Great stuff. These are shorter books, you know, like one, two, three hour reads. Yep. Uh, and I started doing that uh, for Amazon's Kindle, you know, a lot of shorter books. And then you can convert them to paperbacks. Right. So. Yeah, no, it's pretty amazing. Great stuff. I'm trying to get younger people to, you know, to read it. When I give yeah. a library talk, you know, most of the people who come are my age or, you know, uh, middle age. No younger people. So I do a podcast. People listen to podcasts. Kids. And those, you know, have, have more appeal to People oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Attention span. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you. No, it's great work. Thanks. I kind of felt bad not buying anything from him, but if any of you out there are interested in that type of thing, definitely check him out on Amazon, where most of these books and recordings can be found for sale. Oh, no, that's not what I thought. How are you? Hi. Good, how are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Hi, good, thanks. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Happy Mother's Day to anybody who's a mother. Oh, thank you. Thank you. When he said, go do my will, Here's some commemorative spoons, which apparently used to be a pretty big collectible up until, I don't know, 30, 40 years ago probably. 
My grandmother had a huge collection of these, which I inherited. So I have a whole box at home full of these. I don't think they're worth that much, but I like them just because they were my grandmother's. I remember that. Oh, yeah. Well, she had those ones you would get, like, at a rest stop with, like, yeah. the name of the state on them or whatever, those oh, little tiny yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. But then she also had a ton of actual oh, yeah. silverware and oh, oh. most of it's plate. It's not, like, sterling, yeah. but... <laughs> These are funny little things. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Look like aardvarks or armadillos or something. Yeah, yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, how are you? Looks like a oh, Boston yeah. Terrier a little bit. Yeah. They're porcelain. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hand painted. And there you have it. That's the Newington Kiwanis Flea Market in Newington, Connecticut. I do plan to come back here probably in the fall, maybe late August, early September, or something like that. But if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and hit that notification bell. I've got a lot more flea market videos coming up, as well as mall walkthroughs, store walkthroughs, and who knows what else. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.